Hello, my name is Todor Polashko from MCAT Bulgaria and today we will continue our lesson about uh, gear reducer and of course using Autodesk Inventor. Uh, in this lesson we will create two bearings and uh, one shaft between, two this, uh, between these two bearings. Uh, first of all, I want you to uh, I want something to tell you. You must uh, the the module module that you are using for creating shaft or bearings or other uh, mechanical uh, typical typical mechanical parts are are in assembly in assembly mode. Of course, that is because uh, uh, the new parts uh, they are new parts. So uh, if you want to make uh, uh, many parts you have to use assembly so I'm, I create I, I'm creating a new assembly new file then I use the place my, uh, place component button button and uh, place my uh, my lower part of the gear reducer after that uh, after that I go to uh, the view tab and uh, I uh, uh, remove the visibility of uh, the working uh, geometry, so I don't need it right now. The next thing, the next thing I will do right now is to uh, start creating. Uh, start. Uh, oh, I will start to, to uh, yes, let's say creating the the bearings. So the design tab is the second tab of your in your inventor, uh, or it. It may be the third tab if you are using factory design uh, suit. So this is uh, what I will will do today. I will uh, choose a respectable uh, a bearing. First, I have I will save the I will save this assembly because Inventor will ask me anyway. Uh, I choose the bearing command from the power transmission tab. Of course, uh, we are not generating some uh, bearing. We will, let's say, we will uh, uh, enter some uh, limits, and Inventor will choose, will show us which uh, bearings are the best for uh, these uh, entries. Uh, and these entries are outer diameter, inner diameter, and of course the width of uh, the bearing. The outer diameter, as you can see, I, I uh, take it from I took it from the uh, from the three D model, uh, and the other uh, parameters, the inner diameter and the width, I will uh, take it from uh, from my DWG drawing. So the inner diameter, as you can see, is uh, thirty millimeters, and the width is twenty seven. Okay, so that's my entries. Uh, 72 for outer diameter, 30 millimeters for min inner diameter, and uh, uh, <coughs> 28, uh, 27 for uh, width. So I put it in the in the uh, in the this working window. I select all bearing categories, and Inventor told me that there are uh, several several choices for uh, such a bearing. I I press OK and and I call I uh, take this bearing from the library. Of course, uh, you can uh, use uh, some uh, uh, other bearings if you have downloaded uh, some libraries with many uh, with many other bearings. Um, I will do the same thing for the other part from the other side of uh, this uh, of this uh, gear reducer. And right now, the next thing I will uh, do, I will place at the exact, I will uh, put the the bearings at the exact place. They are two millimeters from the inner side of uh, our gear reducer of the lower part, and the second one I think it's also from two millimeters in, yeah, two millimeters. So um, for that, I will use the constraint command. This one. Strain. I will use its second option, which is a flush, and I will put uh, I will uh, put two, two millimeters. That is the distance between uh, these uh, two uh, two sides. 
I will do the same for the, the second uh, bearing. Flush command of, again, 2 millimeters. Okay. So, uh, they are uh, our two bearings perfectly positioned. They are movable, by the way. You can rotate them. Uh, the second thing I will do is uh, generating the shaft. Of course, the shaft uh, it's not uh, it is not uh, from uh, some uh, library. I have uh, created some previous previously some uh, shaft, so I will delete its steps. And uh, right now, step by step, I will uh, enter every um, every step of every part of this uh, of this shaft uh, using by using uh, dimension down from uh, the drawing, of course. So I will start from here. The uh, diameter is 30 millimeters, and let's see the length. 28.5. Of course. Uh, you you have to create it to create this step with the length of the chamfer because after that after we uh, create that uh, step we will create uh, additional uh, chamfer with uh, the first button chamfer uh, the distance is 1.5 and the degree is 45 uh, it's okay so. Uh, every part of this, every step of this uh, shaft is a cylindrical face, is cylindrical part. So uh, I will choose, uh, I will choose only cylindrical steps. The cylindrical step or the cylindrical part of this uh, of this shaft is the first button. When uh, sections, when uh, where uh, the section, uh, where it, where the section is. So cylindrical. Uh, Another cylinder, 40 mm diameter and 8 mm length. If I'm doing this uh, very quickly, you can always pause uh, the, mo uh, the video and uh, select and uh, create, create uh, the shaft uh, slower. Uh, Alright, the next, the next uh, part. The next part is, is uh, this one where the gear reducer will be placed at uh, the gear. Uh, the gear we will create the gear in the next lesson. So right now we are just we are only creating the, the this this section. So it's uh, 80 millimeters long and uh, uh, and uh, 50 millimeters diameter. Okay, another cylindrical, cylindrical part after that, and the smaller one, this one here. There is a, a special command for this type of uh, steps, but uh, these are ways to just create another section. Yeah, it, it yes, it will be with a very uh, small length. Right here is one millimeter, but it's easier that way. Uh, that's for sure. One millimeter and diameter thirty-eight. So it's uh, okay. Diameter thirty-eight. Length one millimeter. Okay. The next step, next section is, let's say, 34 or 35 and uh, 40 for diameter. Thirty-four. Okay. Next one, uh, maybe the length is again uh, one millimeter, but the diameter I think it's 20, 28. Okay, 28. One millimeter, cool. And the last section, its uh, dimensions are the length is maybe 35.5 and the diameter is 30 so another another cylindrical section diameter 30 35.5 its diameter its length and again I will add another chamfer 
uh, this chamfer again I can put uh, the dimension as it in it of course uh, uh, the, the place of the chamfer is not here uh, it's not on the left it's on the right of course so I, I'll put it on the right right here 1.5 right here okay and I will just select no feature here because that was some kind of mistake uh, this shaft you can always make calculation on it as you see this is the shaft uh, you can uh, you can put all kinds of loads um, concentric force uh, uh, other type of uh, uh, forces different loads you can choose a material and then you can uh, you can see the graphics and of course there is a uh, you can always use it for your technical documentation because there is a button under the close button on the upper right side when you press it it's called the result it's called results uh, inventor will generate an HTML report which you can put in um, of course in a doc file or, or in your document technical documentation all right there is the shaft I'll just put it somewhere and right now I will uh, again uh, use the constraint use constraints to uh, uh, place it in uh, to uh, put it in the right place the first constraint I will use uh, no, no not this one let's say I will, first I will use uh, I will uh, <coughs> make a concentric constraint between the of course uh, the the shaft and the bear bearings this one uh, the next things I will do uh, again I will use the constraint and the flush constraint you can see but uh, the chamfer part of the shaft it's is uh, 1.5 millimeters <coughs> out in other in another direction right like this that is the correct positioning of this shaft so that's it we've created the two bearings the shaft and uh, in the next in the next lessons I will create the gear the uh, the gears between uh, the two shafts uh, and you will see and how many things we can uh, choose uh, in this uh, module uh, of course uh, if you uh, if you have some suggestions or some questions or you want to uh, you want the, the files to uh, to use it for trainings you can always ask us by mail or call us we'll help you gladly Thank you.